Hello YouTubers, uh, update on the uh, small decorative rocket stove. The little booger held up so well up outside and under such extreme conditions. I brought it in and made this barrel on top and uh, this update is because I found an easy way to burn kerosene in them and even waste, waste vegetable oil. Let me pull this away. Get a shot in there. Can you see that there's a soup can in there? There's a soup can in there, and that soup can has five tiki torch wicks that are wired together, right? And that's the only fire going in there. Now, I did this last night. Obviously, there's no fumes in the house because I got it's vented to the outside. Uh, so how, how hot do you think that barrel is right now? Do you think that that's any heat at all? Well, let me show you what kind of heat this, the, just that, that far in it is going. And um, last night I put it in at 5.30, and at uh, 8.30 I blew it out, and I still had uh, a little bit in there because I didn't want to burn the wicks dry. So I'm going to be building bigger ones of these uh, that will get an eight-hour burn out of this. Uh, and waste vegetable oil will not wick up. It's too thick. One of the problems is, is it'll wick. However, if you mix it 50-50, uh, it will wick. And further, I've learned that if you build a fire in this little wood stove, or this little, this gets so hot, it holds so much heat, that when I set a can in there in the hot ashes of waste vegetable oil, that it heats up and it thins up, and I leave it in there two or three minutes until it warms up, and then light it, and it burns in there and burns nice, it burns very hot. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's see what the see what kind of temperatures we got here. 188 degrees. All right? So, the little stove was getting up to about 200 degrees there. Uh, it'll take some time before the thermoelectric light comes on and the thermoelectric fan will start blowing. But, you know, guys, that is really an easy way to burn uh, waste vegetable and to burn kerosene and it's also you know instead of burning a feet building a feeder and trying to feed the thing pellets you know guys I'm thinking I'm thinking about these replacement wicks and a, and a small squatty can like a one pound coffee can uh, get 12 hours of burn you know and you can you can turn them up and don't have to worry about any soot that you might get out of it because it's going to the outside uh, one other quick thing I wanted to do in this video. A guy asked me, he said, uh, how bright are those uh, set in the window lights that you make? This is a, oh, this is just one of the later ones I've made, latest ones I've made. And it's, a, it's made, it, I put it on an angle there so when it sets, you know, it gets the sun at an angle there and set it, take it outside or whatever. Just put that handle on it. And that's got a 7 amp hour battery in it. And I'm going to turn the lights off and just show how much, how much light this thing puts out. Go ahead and turn the lights off. So there's the, there's the stove with no light, and there's I'm standing in the same place the camera. So I, I will call that substantial light. Go ahead and turn the other light on. Other one too. So yeah, so you can see that it's a fairly substantial light there. So that answers that question too. So yeah, guys, this is a great way and an easy way and a, well, a cheap way. You know, uh, I don't even need a kerosene heater now, right? A replacement wick and a can and uh, a rocket stove where you can set the can in. And uh, you got a great long, you know, you don't have to worry about feeding it. It's just great to be able to walk away from it and put it on low and not have to feed it for the rest of the night. Uh, I think this is a good one. Thanks for watching.